Our first referee for the day, Mr. Andres Montinola, international referee. Second referee, Romolo Reforzado, national referee. And our team's playing today, the National University Lady Bulldogs. Versus the still undefeated defending champions, UST Tigresses. Minutes away from uh, the start of this game, USD, of course, as our partner mentioned, still undefeated at 5 0. La Salle is at 6 0. By the way, this is NU's last assignment in the first round. Dahil, uh, lamang sila sa laro, eh. Three and three right. sila. While lang, uh, USD is at 5 and 0. National University already much improved on. I know they, they don't want to stop there. They're actually going to try to challenge for that final four, which. Yep. Again, it's now something that we never say about, we haven't said about the National University in a very Lady long time. Uh, check in with the starters now. Number one, Both Ella Sagon. Number four, Mina Atanon. Number seven, Ria Sante. Number eight, Kai Nepomuceno. Number nine, Vec Mangi, team captain. Number 10, Asi Soliven. Their libero, number 12, Che Reyes. And head coach, Francis Vicente. And now, currently celebrating their quadricentennial 400th year anniversary, here are the UST Tigresses. Number one, Rea Dimakulangan. Number two, Leia Espiritu. Number eight, Isa Maizo, team captain. Number nine, Meryl Panaticla. Number 10, Micah Ortiz. Number 11, Judy Caballero. Air libero number seven, Chan Dusanan. And head coach, Shaq De Los Santos. Controversial things happened in the offseason between these two uh, universities, uh, volleyball teams. But for USD and Lipatan. Si Lipatan siya, di ba? Next, uh, in, in, well, after the residency, oh. uh, we'll see. But of course, I'm sure that uh, you know the, the, the people who are watching already know who yeah, yes, we're talking yes, about. Yes, yes. I see Coach Janel Bakuli here, the uh, athletic director of uh, National U. In attendance for this game. Well, the start of the year is always tough after the holidays mm -hmm. and uh, the vacation, the eating, the celebrations, the, the late nights, you know. And uh, as uh, we saw in the first game, very sluggish start for both La Salle and, and Yui. La Salle actually behind in that game in the first set and got it together earlier on. But even throughout the game, they look yep. like two sluggish teams. So we'll see uh, if these two teams. Got to get it going early. First How do you... For you, you played in this game many times in, in the UAP also as a substitution will come Sunti in already right away for Spirito. USD. How do you maintain sharpness? Is it possible that our practices increase? Depende pa sa standing siya ng team mo pagka pasok ng holiday season? Actually, pag holiday season, most of the coaches, one thing that uh, they want to make sure of is that uh, the girls keep in shape. Because it, it's true, no? If if vacation, yeah, the tendency is for you to eat, just lie around the house, and you're not active. So when you come back, it's just sluggish talaga yan. So uh, the coaches, of course, would still ask their team to train over the holidays. So double, a double effort pa rin yun in a way, I'd say. Yung ibang coaches nga, na, narinig natin, nag-increase pa, may yes. kili lang yung vacation nila. They, they train through uh, the holidays at some point as NU gets its first point. Courtesy of Aganon. Combination play. Pico is checked. Easy over. Oh, not that easy. Uh, Maizo seeing a spot in zone one. All right.
right, it's also good to see our courtside reporters. Happy New Year, Stephanie C. from the National University side. Happy New Year, Boom. The defending champion, USD, may seem invincible, having zero losses so far. Nonetheless, National U is looking forward to take down this team. And they may be the underdogs in this game, but rest assured the Lady Bulldogs are confident as they start the game with a positive mindset and with a winning attitude. Speaking to coach Vince a while ago, he told me that there was a psychological aspect in their preparation for this game, as he emphasized the team's need to be physically and, of course, mentally tough. He also said, Parang ako yung magulang at yung players ko yung mga bata. Tinuturuan ko silang maglaro ng tama para hindi magkamali. So for this match, he expects the girls to enjoy the game but to use their heads as they play smart and execute properly inside the court. Boom and Anne. Thank you very much, Stephanie, reporting for uh, National University. Splendid job by the coach to get this uh, program restarted, so to speak. And that's not only about the volleyball, oh, the whole sports program of National University. A point awarded to NU, three serving two. Looking at both teams to see that, uh, well, for once at least, the UST uh, doesn't uh, solely have that uh, height advantage over NU. Matatangka din yung uh, frontliners. Oh. And from uh, National University, single block. As we check in with Man Panganiban from the UST side. Happy New Year, Man. Happy New Year to Boom. Like almost every team in the UAAP, the UST Tigers did not rest. You can actually feel in Coach Hack's voice that they're really focused and the holidays never stop them from training. Now, Coach Hack just wants the girls to just get the drift of it and they can work to better regardless of the people he puts inside the court. In today's game, the team will have their eyes on Mangi and Nepomuceno, like what you said, and to lessen the NU's point production. And just a quick injury update, Aiza Maizo and Maruba Natikla are both playing with their right ankles mildly sprained. Apparently, they both tripped while walking on their way to practice on separate days. But nothing to worry about, though. Lumen Mozi? That's it. It's a story. On separate days. <laughs> well, we wish uh, them well, of course. We want them to be 100% every time. As we are now at 5-3. Although the injury, I can't seem uh, to, to feel na meron itong... Uh, mild pa lang naman. Oh, mild pa lang. So ano yan, pagkaganyan, uh, heavily taped. Mm -hmm. so, Ay, the number four scorer of the league. It's Maricar Nepomuceno getting it through the block. USC, the second best blocking team. Second only to LaSalle, obviously. Nepomuceno has really added a little power behind it. And he's got that uh, attack. USD has not lost since December 19, 2009. That was the five-set loss to Ateneo to end the year. And after that, USD oh, went for you, into a, some sort of a meeting mm -hmm. and then probably trained hard during the holidays of last year. And everything changed. And wala nun, wala mm -hmm. nun. Like, iba na yung anyo. <laughs> there were talks, I remember from last year, there were talks about Coach uh, Shaq and the girls not getting along. That's right. Uh, all of these things, mm -hmm. not responding to his coaching. But they turned it around, and they turned it around really quick, didn't they? And that uh, goes to show what the kind of attitude, you know, this team has. So they can work with, uh, you know, anything and uh, make the best out of uh, the situation that they're in. Short arm. Mangi. And of course, on route to beating LaSalle, sweeping them in the finals, too. Problems with reception so far. For Another the, point for you, uh, USD. Francis uh, Vicente's girls. Six off. With the number one score on deck, serving for USD. You know what Isa Maiso has... She's also obviously a steady receiver. Oh, yeah, she's actually number one or number oh. two. And what I think she has developed this year as an attacker is that there's a certain ruthlessness to her attack this oh, year. Oh, yes. Right? <laughs> and I know. And you has developed a scrappiness about them that has kept them in a lot of games, even against the elite teams, and have beaten some of them too. That's right. And, you know, you can just see how uh, excellent. Their blocking is at this point. That's no moral, nila, no? Mm -hmm. But then they really look like they're having fun on the court right now. I mean, not just 
in this game, in the previous games. Again, the go-to girl. You need a point, you go to her. Take no, that's uh, even coming from the back. Look yep. at this. Chances are... Cut shot, ano? Nagyan nyo ng konting English to the left. She makes it look so easy, too. She even accepted the Pumaseno. And again, Ryan Pumaseno. She looks so lean, but there's a lot of power behind that kill. And then you get to the technical timeout first.